Yo dogs, what's up? Welcome back to some more Vampire. And I noticed that I need to heal. Now when we last left off, um, we were doing the blackmail mission or whatever, and we had to kill these guys. But we basically came to Dorothy's uh, underground medical thingy-maduber that she's running. And she was blackmailing Ashbury for her money to keep the operation alive. And we made a deal with her. She'll stop the blackmail. She'll resign from Pembroke. And we'll basically kind of be partners a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, what happened. Down here. Let's, let's take a look-see. Oh, big dude's down here. Level is he? Eight? <laughs> Who do you think you are, sir? You and your level eight. That's right. Sit down. What the fuck is that guy doing? Level is he? Eight? I'm not scared of that. Um, yeah, let's take these guys on. Do it. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? I'm out of ammo. I don't know how to switch my secondary. I should really look that up. Right. Damn it. Alright, that was easy. Easy peasy. Ooh, dark sketchy alley back way. How could this go wrong? Oh, hello. Level 12. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Let's... Here. I'm going to... Unequip this. Make it the stake. So that I can use it. I have no idea how to switch my secondary weapon. I need to look that up, but... Right now, we'll just switch to that. And actually, you know what? Let's switch to... Wrong button. Uh, this let's switch it to this because this gives blood absorption and I was like well you know I want the stun but I noticed I think secondaries in general have some amount of stun so I just heard something to my right shit let's take this guy first So this doesn't do anything for stun. But I do like that my blood's going up with it. That's right. You think you can handle this? You think you can take me? Oh, that's right. Take it deep. Take it deep. Alright guys, sorry for the weird cut. Um, my baby boy was crying. You probably heard that in the background. My wife got back from her mom's. And he came in loud and proud. <laughs> Ooh, got more, more dudes, okay. I really wish it would switch more easily. All right, let's take this these guys out. Oh. Come on. Come on, bring it. 
I saw that attack coming from a mile away. I love how it magically changes directions in the air and shit. I just barely avoided that. Oh my goodness. That crying you hear right now, that's not my son. <laughs> that's in the game. That's in game sound. Ooh, what's back here? Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, could you lock on people? He's resistant to my shadow, doesn't mean I can't still try it. Oh my god, what the hell is that that he's using? Yeah, we're gonna run. Uh, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I did come this way, I guess. Hello. What's funny is you can't attack in this part, so they can't attack me. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, right here, see, like, I'm pressing the buttons to attack, but you can't attack. It's a neutral zone. That's so funny. Alright. Well then. We'll continue on. Exploring. Ooh, I could go up here. Ooh. Ooh. What the fuck is that? <gasps> it's one of those things. It's only level 10 though. I say let's let's take it out. Take it out of the game. You can't handle this. Oops. I still thought I had the gun equipped. I tried shooting him. That's right. Take it deep. I don't know what that thing that it does is. I pressed the wrong button apparently. That's right, sit down. I do eventually want to come back and help try to heal these people to stabilize this area more. But for now, I do want to get back to the hospital. Alright guys, so I went ahead and leveled up. So I leveled up um, the Big Thirst as high as I could before I unlocked this. But uh, I have it up to 80% blood from my bites, which is good. And then physical prowess, I bumped up. So now I have plus 60% endurance. And then I got this ultimate, the rage ultimate. And so you lose control and let the beast take over and you teleport to your enemies and do damage. Um, and I believe that's all I upgraded, right? No, 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 I also upgraded this. So I got faster generation. I get plus 15% heal when I use bite in combat. And so, actually, I haven't checked. What's the next level for that? 600? Is it worth getting right now? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, let's confirm this. But yeah. So there's a big, stupid fight. Or boss fight that I have to do down here. It's ridiculous. I, I need to do what I can to get this. my blood up before this stupid fight. Hey, yeah, you don't get a choice in this matter. Like, I wish I could hide from it. Wait, uh, nope. Oh, shit. 
Come on. Come on. There might be a way to more easily change who you're targeting. But right now, I don't know of a way. I need to take off, take out these stupid grunts. What the? He didn't even hit me. I was past him. Game. Wow. This game is so bad at combat. No, target the other guy. Crush the leech, boys. I'll kill you. Ah, this shit's annoying. Oh, fuck you, ultimate. That didn't do anything to him. What? I love how they're magic, even though you dodge, they're still locked onto you, so they follow you. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. that he when I get hit I can't keep attacking but when they get hit they can keep attacking I got my blood like all the way back. I have my ultimate almost. Let's just wait for my ultimate and then. Come on, we can do this. We killed one of them. So yeah, guys, I do apologize. I, I know parts of this game are kind of boring just because it's a lot of talking. There's a lot of exploration. Uh, so yeah, I understand that it can get kind of boring. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying this series. This game isn't bad. It's a pretty fun game. It's just, uh, like I said, there's some long drawn out parts and it makes it kind of hard for creating content just because they're long and drawn out and it's a lot of talking. And I feel bad if I talk over the characters in the game. Like I want you guys to experience the game as best possible. And I feel like I hinder that if I'm talking over them talking. It's kind of weird just because there's so much talking in the game, it's kind of hard to get my my voice in there. You know what I mean? Now I'm saying you're picking up what I'm putting down.
Well, that's a nice way to get into my office. Wow, all right, I'll take that. Yeah, she's still in there. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Passionately hides your appetite. I'm gonna say he trusted you. you. killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. The accusation was true? Yeah. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right, say I trust you, but you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. Yes, answer them all. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27, I shall remain. Uh, who granted you and eternal youth? bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. He said you'd answer all my questions. Liar. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. 
The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. Interesting. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Could you be any more vague? Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide, but you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Interesting. I'm not sure sharks can smile, though. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Interesting. So what she's saying is my maker was likely intentionally making me? And she finds it weird that he didn't guide me afterwards? When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain. More than likely, it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush, tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. That's interesting. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Oh, dang. So it's a big badass vampire that made me. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. Well, we already know she's not my maker because I don't have a voice in her head. Or her voice in my head. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word. Defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. An Ekon? Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires, but all vampires are not Ekon. We that are. That makes sense. 
but a branch of the immortal tree. That makes sense because you have scowls, which are a part of the vampire group, right? But they're not Ekans like us. I guess Ekans are like the elegant version of a vampire. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. I doubt Contrary it too, to with the, the legends, messages he's sending me. It's not as simple me. to make another vampire by just biting someone. Yeah, he wouldn't be talking to me in my head. He tried to guide me, though, on my first feeding, and I let that guy go. If you guys remember. So he hasn't completely abandoned me, but it's interesting. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Oh, oh, what's that movie? Shoot, there's a movie that's like in the 80s and it's a vampire movie. And that's how they create other vampires is they give them their blood and they have to drink their blood. And that's how they create vampires. So it's that kind of uh, mythology. So looks like we learned everything we could. Well, for now. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. That's cool to find out that there's different forms of vampires and that we're called Ekans. Ekans. It also looks like each night loot regenerates, which is nice. All right. Yeah, let's go up and analyze the blood sample I found. Uh, my mouse. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons? Thanks. I don't want to. I'm here to analyze this. Light stamina serum. All right. Yeah, I think stamina and blood are absolutely crucial. So let's go ahead and beef this bad boy up. And then let's increase the blood absorption. Yes. I need another common handle part to beef it up again. But I like that. That was a good upgrade. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? Oh, I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. All right. Let's talk to Dr. Swansea real quick. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? Well, I analyzed the blood. I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. That would be. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. 
A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. Um... Yeah, I have thought about I admit it. it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. All right. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Is this true that I killed? Please accept my condolences. Well, thank you, sir. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part right there. Um, hopefully you're still enjoying this series. Uh, there's been some issues and bugginess and weird things with this game that have kind of irritated me. Uh, but I'm going to keep going with it because I really enjoy the story. The story is really good so far, uh, even if the gameplay is a bit buggy. <laughs> but anyhow, guys, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. Guys, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.